Should you be focused on PPC or SEO? That's the question I'll answer in my golden one to two ratio video today. My name is Stephen Pope and I'm the founder of my Amazon guy. So let's jump right in. So here you have one of my new items. This is a Megapyte Tumblr. And anytime you're launching a new item, it's very difficult to get it to start indexing. That is, show up in the search result. Now, I'm already in the top 3,000 in all of home goods, and we're selling thousands of these. But it's a new item, and sometimes new items take some time to bake, right? So here is the first part of the exercise. You can use a tool such as uh, Helium 10 Cerebro to go to the keyword distribution and basically just see how many total keywords are in sponsored versus organic. And I like to see a one, one sponsored keyword to two, two organic keyword ratio. Now, in trying to make this video, I actually don't have any items in my entire portfolio that actually meet the golden ratio that I could find to shoot it this morning. So keep in mind that this golden ratio is not a mandate, it's a suggestion, and it tells you where to focus. On a new item such as this one, it's of no surprise that sponsored product keywords are heavier than organic. But what this tells me is that in 30 days from now, this item should be at 1600 organic keywords or I'm behind. And so you can use a gauge for um, aggression on PPC versus the uh, strengthening of the organic keywords. Now, the difference between a sponsored keyword and an organic, in case you need to know, a sponsored keyword you pay for, an organic you have earned and you show up and you don't pay for it. So for example, on the Mega Pint Glass, I'm organic rank number one. Here you see my item uh, show up right here, but I'm also, that this is the organic slot number one, but I'm also in PPC slot number one. Uh, I'm also in PPC slot number four with a different item for whatever reason. Um, and so this is a great uh, way to gauge whether your item is being successful. So when you look at the keyword distribution, if we know that we have about 800 keywords that are worth advertising on, then we're gonna shoot for double that for the indexing. So when an item first launches, usually you're trying to shoot for about 1,000 keywords in the first 30 days. And then by day 60, you wanna be at about 1,200. Here is another example with a very different outcome. This is a mature listing. It's been around since November. I sell these soaps under the Age of Sage brand. And when we go to look at the keyword distribution, the sponsored keywords is at 225 and organic is at 2,500. So we've maturely indexed for thousands of keywords, which is fantastic. However, we are underbidding on sponsored keywords. So in preparing for this video, I actually shot off a note to my advertising team that, hey, we got Father's Day coming up. We're not pushing enough traffic to this listing. It's a highly converting item, and there's only 225 keywords showing up for sponsored keywords, which tells me we're probably undershooting and underspending on advertising. So this is a great way you can use the golden one to two ratio to figure out, do you need to spend more on PPC or do you need to focus more attention on SEO? And on this listing, it's pretty obvious which of the two it is because we're so under the one to two ratio. I need to go focus more on ads on this particular product. Here's another example. This is one of my most famous uh, wine glasses I've ever sold. I, I literally think I've sold 30,000 units of this glass. However, they banned it from ads and it's a little trickier these days. Um, so not in the top 10 anymore. But in any case, this item, uh, over a thousand reviews, very, very mature, and it's in a parentage. So what happens when Cerebro sees an item like this in the parentage, they often will uh, combine the keyword distribution. So this will be a little misleading when you're trying to look this over and figure out what's going on. But essentially, if we were going to say that this was a one-to-one, -one, we would say we're basically at a one-to-one -one ratio right here, and one of two things probably needs to happen. We either need to soften the sponsored keywords because we're going too aggressively, or we need to focus on more organic keywords because we're close to a one-to-one -one ratio right now on a mature listing in the 2000s. And so you can use that kind of information to figure it out. Although in my case, the parentage is kind of messing this up a little bit. We've got a bunch of different wine glasses that are in this parentage tree. 
uh, causing the data to be a bit misleading on this particular subject. But at the end of the day, I do know we probably could get more organic keywords indexed. And so that's what we're going to do is we're going to run SEO phase three and SEO phase four. Phase three, we like to focus on keywords in rank 20 through 50 to try and move them up to the top of the SERPs. And in phase SEO four, the search query update, we like to focus on market share. Um, I actually keep a, a link to this on my uh, stream deck right here because I frequently look at the search query so much that I've actually bookmarked it here. And then we'll come in and we'll look at the brand and go to the most current week and apply and try and figure out where I need to focus on these keywords, right? So Johnny Depp merchandise at 7,500, I've got 2%, 3% of all of these search funnel impressions, 3% of the clicks, 5% of the actual add to carts. And as we scroll to the right over here, 7% of the actual purchases. And the word merchandise is not even on my listing for this original Tumblr that we looked at. So if we did control F merch, nothing. So I would know immediately I need to go focus on that to get my ratio up to increase my market share. So tell me what you thought about this in the video comments. Uh, I've got other videos where you can learn more about how Amazon SEO works as well as PPC. Check out these playlists right here.